though to Lamar Miller. Another shocking removal, not by retirement, but by torn ACL for the season. Uh, and you know, I know I'm the first to admit I'm down on Lamar Miller. I'm not sitting here saying I've ever been high on his talent. I've been talking about I want this path to be clearer for guys like Duke Johnson or Donta Foreman before, where I thought there was more talent than Lamar Miller showed. I didn't want it to happen this way, though. You're never rooting for an injury. Uh, so as unfortunate as it is, though, this is a pretty ripe situation. I mean, Lamar Miller was the RB 16, 19, 22 these last few years. That's you know solid RB2 numbers. He The, the fourth, the first, all these different stats by Bill O'Brien. They've consistently ranked in the top five in rushing offense. Lamar Miller, you know, 235, 285, over almost 300 touches over his three years. He's averaged over 18 touches per game. That's a sizable slice of usage that's going to now go to what I consider a better talent in Duke Johnson. I mean, the, the Texans transitioned to more of a zone-blocking scheme last year. So let's talk about just running. If he inherits right around those 18 or so touches per game, 12 to 15 carries Duke Johnson. And, and right now they're saying, you know, it's going to fall on his shoulders. That's what everybody from John McClain, the most reliable beat in the leagues, says you know, he's going to get all the work he can handle, Duke Johnson. So as a runner, I mean, we can talk about his passing upside all day. We'll get there in a sec. But as a runner, Duke Johnson is sneakily ex excellent at the outside zone game. In fact, when he came out, he was labeled the best zone running back in that draft class at the outside zone. Uh, and now that's what the Texans really last year, at second half of the year, you saw Lamar Miller even start to trick up a bunch of 100-yard games to close the season. They transitioned to a much heavier outside zone game. So you imagine that's part of what draw them to Duke Johnson um, and what his excellent outside zone game. But then obviously as a pass catcher too, you think of all those times Deshaun Watson scrambling and needing that outlet. He hasn't really had that. And Lamar Miller, decent receiver, but not even close to as instinctive and just natural as a pass catcher as Duke Johnson, who's who's going to thrive in that safety valve. You know, Deshaun Watson can be under a ton of pressure behind that awful offensive line. I see him catching a ton of balls, receiving now about 200 or so carries. But we're looking right around 240, 250 touches within what I expect to be a top seven, maybe even top five offense. I mean, when they were all healthy, over 40 points per game under Deshaun Watson, Will Fuller, when all those guys are on the field. Big F, I know, but you're talking about 240 to you know 250 touches for Duke Johnson in that offense. It could be a monster. Obviously, there's some speculation. Will Ajayi go there? Will they trade for McCoy? Will Carlos Hyde get cut and end up there? So that will you know leave a lot to be determined. But right now, Bill O'Brien said, we have a very strong running back group. We feel great about Duke as the starter. Uh, so, I mean, I right now, he's falling to around nine. I'd take him anywhere round five and beyond. I think he's going to be a steal, especially in PPR leagues. A lot of people saying, well, Deshaun Watson doesn't throw to his running backs. Bill O'Brien doesn't target his running backs. I get the stats aren't great in that realm, but think about Cam Newton for those early season careers. You, you just see that progression as a passer, learning to rely on your running back a little bit more. He hasn't had a guy that knows how to get open and kind of show himself like Duke Johnson's going to be able to. 44% of his receptions have gone for either first downs or touchdowns. Think about how much better that offense is going to be when they're staying on the field because Duke Johnson catches that third and six, makes someone miss. And again, a great fit for what they do as a run game. I love Duke Johnson's upside from round five and beyond. I think he could be a season winner that you're getting real late right now.